Welcome to the Ask Jordan podcast, answering your questions about selling on Amazon. Now, in his skivvies, because his wife wears the pants, from Long Island, New York, here's your host, Jordan Malik. Hello, Amazon merchants and wannabe Amazon merchants. This is Jordan Malik, host of the Ask Jordan podcast. You're listening to our 19th episode. Thank you so much for making this podcast so popular. It is an honor to have you. I do not take this for granted for a minute. It is a privilege to have you listen to me and not the other way around. You may think that I'm helping you, I'm sure, but it's really, uh, without you, this podcast would not exist. And um, thank you very much for all your positive feedback and comments. So every episode, if you're listening for the first time, we answer one question from you about selling on Amazon. If you've missed any of our other podcasts, you can get them all at askjordan.net. You can get them on iTunes. There's a link there for the iTunes version of the podcast, or you can listen to them right on askjordan.net. You can download the MP3 versions, or now there's YouTube versions of every podcast. So uh, you can check it out again at askjordan.net. You can get seven of my best selling ebooks if your question is answered on this podcast. So At the end of this podcast, in just a few minutes, I'll tell you exactly how. Today, our question is from Pete across the pond in the UK. Go ahead, Pete. Hi, Jordan. My name is Pete Moxon from the UK. And the question I've got revolves around sourcing products for somebody new to FBA. I've started looking online and in stores, and I've got some products, but I'm finding sourcing a little bit of a challenge here in the UK. Now, whether it's because I'm new, I don't know, but the stumbling block I've got is finding products that give me a good return. Should I be looking for, you know, like uh, doubling my money? So if I buy something for 10, maybe selling it for 30 on Amazon, which would then maybe return a profit of $10 to me? Or is it more or less okay to, or is it more popular, should I say, to if I find something for ten dollars, maybe I sell it for twenty, uh, which may return a profit of say three dollars to me. So give me a thirty percent return. Is that more the norm, or you know, is everybody finding these bigger hundred percent returns? Hey Pete, that's a great question. Um, first, I'm going to answer your question, and then I'm going to get a little bit into the UK marketplace and what you can do if if you're in the UK. So generally, and I'm sure this applies to uh, the UK as well, generally you want to be acquiring items to resell on Amazon that um, have a rule of three. We call it a rule of three, right? So um, if something is selling for 15 pounds, uh, the lowest price, one of the lowest prices on Amazon is 15 pounds, British pounds, right? You want to make sure that your acquisition cost for that item is five pounds pounds. So five times three, the rule of three is 15 pounds because very roughly five pounds is your cost of the item. Five pounds is going to go to uh, Amazon in terms of fees and your cost, etc. your other costs. And the remaining five pounds is your profit. So that's general. I mean, there's our exceptions to the rule. I'm going to point you to another podcast, my uh, April, uh, April 24th entry at askjordan.net. Uh, talks about uh, more about pricing, and of course, it's I'm talking about the U.S. and U.S. dollars, but I would assume the general theme is is uh, in um, uh, the, applicable for British pounds. So let's talk a little bit about because I think you were leading this in your question is finding stuff to sell. Now here's a little story. I have a website, uh, a subscription website that I own here in the U.S. for U.S. sellers. It's called Find Spotter. And it basically finds items in stores and online. For you, it, it's only economical for a U.S. For somebody who has a physical U.S. presence to do it because the items are shipped to to the person in the U.S. You find find the spotter presents the items every day, and if you're in the U.S., you can buy them, have them shipped to your home um, or wherever your warehouse is, and then have have it processed. You process it to sell on Amazon. So we find items that roughly have that that rule of three. Items that cost $10 that will sell on Amazon for 30, etc. Okay? So I tried to create a find spotter for the UK market. Uh, I didn't actually try to create it, but I investigated creating it. And what I was finding was that 
Of course, I'm not physically in the UK, so it's very hard for me to get a feed on the street feel for it. But um, I was finding that online, I couldn't find a lot of online stores that were selling products that just happened to be significantly lower price than the same item on Amazon.co.uk, the UK Amazon site. So um, I never pursued that, but I get lots of inquiries from the UK, particularly UK and Australia, and Jordan, I can't find any products to sell. So I'm going to talk about a few solutions that you can do, okay? Um, one is if, you know, we have what we call like flea markets and thrift stores here and big box retailers where you can typically go in with a scanning app like from Profit Bandit scanning app they make for your phone. There's another May 1st podcast uh, talks about that scanning app and uh, and find products that are priced low enough you can buy and then you can resell. Um, if I were you and you don't have that accessibility to, to retail stores that may have discounted items, I would start asking your friends because if you need items to sell, you may have friends that want to unload a bunch of old CDs or DVDs or books that you can easily sell on amazon.co.uk, right? So <clears throat> that's a way for you to start getting your feet wet or even look around your home. And a lot of people laugh at me. They say, Jordan, that's the most ridiculous thing I've, I've ever heard of. You want me to start selling on Amazon by getting products around my house? Yes, because you probably have uh, anywhere from $500 to $3,000 worth of stuff that you're not using anymore. Right now, I don't know the restrictions for UK, but I would assume the product restrictions are very similar of what you can and cannot sell on Amazon in the UK versus the US. But I would assume you can sell books, CDs, DVDs, all used and new, uh, uh, new toys if you have toys still in the box, or collectible toys. Uh, I call them used toys. Amazon calls them collectible toys that they're not new anymore, but 100% complete. And uh, grocery, various grocery items like dry products, dry grocery products, you know, candy, syrups, cake mixes, etc. cetera. Um, electronics are a little risky because people tend to, they tend to have a high rate of return uh, refunds for electronics. Um, but, you know, household appliances, mini electrics, household appliances, uh, coffee makers, etc. cetera. So um, that's one way for you to, if you get, it's just starting out. And I wish I knew more about the UK market and I don't. I have a link for you that um, will help you get a taste of what you can do in terms of selling on Amazon.com in the U.S. Because many international sellers are recognizing how vibrant the Amazon.com website that sells to U.S. residents, right? Or primarily U.S. residents. And people are arranging and buying stuff and then having it shipped to a, a pre-fulfillment center in the U.S., and that pre-fulfillment center then takes care of prepping the items and shipping them to Amazon. And here's the webpage for that. It's uh, bit.ly. That's B as in boy, I as in indigo, T as in Thomas, dot L-Y. That's L as in Larry, Y as in yellow, slash S-O-A-U-S. So that's S is in cell, O as in ostrich, A as in Amazon, U as in United, S as in States, all lowercase, all together, bit.ly forward slash S-O-A-U-S. And that page is going to give you some direction in terms of how to sell from an international location on Amazon.com US. And uh, I also want to let you know that there is a different tack that you can take. And there are sellers who live internationally that are buying products in bulk from uh, you know, distributors or what have you, and that they're shipping them uh, directly into Amazon's warehouse. And the, the expert on that, the only expert that I know, and he's pretty booked, is Barrington McIntosh. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you, I don't make any money from this, I'm going to give you his web address, and that is uh, Barrington, B-A-R-R-I-N-G-T-O-N, McIntosh, M-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. Barrington Macintosh with no A after the uh, no A in the Mac. It's just Barrington M C I N T O S H, and uh, he uh, takes coaching uh, students. Uh, he's a master at earning a lot of money by buying products in bulk. He lives in Jamaica, and having them shipped to Amazon fulfillment centers in the U.S. So if you go on uh, that his website, and you'll see the 
link that says get expert coaching. Okay. Another way that you can learn about how to succeed as a UK based seller is the proven Amazon course. Uh, you can get to it and I'll explain in a minute. You can get to it by going to my website, jordanmalik.com slash course and the number uh, four. Jordan Malik, J O R D A N M A L I K dot com. Jordan Malik is my first and last name together. Slash course. Uh, this is all lowercase. The word course, C O U R S E. And the number four, not the word four, the number four. Jordan Malik dot com slash course four. The proven Amazon course has a lot of tutorials and training for Amazon sellers, but the most important thing I think for you if you're in a, another country outside the U.S., is there's a, a ton of uh, experts on there that sell, and they live in other countries, and they're sharing their expertise and their advice in the seller forums in a, in a not very non-competitive way. Everybody's there to help each other. So we have other sellers from the U.K. We have sellers from Australia, Japan, China, uh, uh, I think even Indonesia, there's a seller from there. So jordanmalik.com slash course four, the number four, all lowercase. And it's 247 US dollars for a lifetime membership, plus a no questions asked money back guarantee. Um, and that's where a lot of international sellers come to me and say, Jordan, I need help. It's really the only learning forum that I know of um, that is positively generating uh uh, a lot of uh, good remarks and good experience for people who are internationally based who want to sell on Amazon.com in the U.S. So, Pete, I hope that helps you. Pete gets seven of my best-selling ebooks about selling on Amazon and eBay. They're worth well over $75 total. And, Pete, I, I'm not sure how much they will help you. They're kind of based on the Amazon.com market. But I know at least one of the books that's in there, my Blesha book, Buy Low on eBay, Sell High on Amazon, works anywhere in the world where you're an Amazon and eBay seller. Um so Pete will get seven of my best-selling ebooks about selling on Amazon and eBay, worth well over seventy-five dollars total. Pete, you can contact me at askjordan.net. Click on the little envelope icon near the upper right-hand corner under the contact me section and send me an email. It's at askjordan.net where you can click on the icon. If you have a question, you uh, the listener have a question about selling on Amazon you'd like answered, go to askjordan.net. Or call 516-619-ONLINE. That's 516. That's in the U.S. 516-619-6654. If I pick your question to answer, you'll get seven of my best-selling ebooks, just like Pete did. Their total price for everyone else is over $75. Plus, you get to hear your voice on my podcast. Now, while you're there at AskJordan.net, please subscribe to my free newsletter for Amazon and eBay sellers. I give away a ton of ideas strategies, examples of what to sell, etc. Go to AskJordan.net, scroll down on the right-hand side and fill out the form. You'll instantly start receiving tips and ideas from me. Hey, thanks so much for listening to the Ask Jordan podcast. We'll see you again in our next episode. <laughs>